welcome back to the channel today is day three practice on lake russell looks like we have about a probably a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind coming out of the looks like it's coming out of the northeast that storm just came through yesterday today's the day after we're gonna go down and check some deep stuff main lake deep stuff so we'll see what happens there's the beast if you guys never been in a phoenix he would love these boats that one he's been caught before that last fish I caught was in a brush pile in this point and I noticed when I pulled up there's not maybe little just singles hitting the top but I've seen most of them on the bottom there's quite a few fish in this brush pile right here and only caught one of them so that's why I started throwing this jig and I mean first cast I think or second cast caught him but we need bigger ones than that They just are not coming up good. I'd say yesterday they fed like crazy. I'd say they fed up big time yesterday. But me and Russell got a love-hate relationship. I've come down here and absolutely whacked them. One time I was in a tournament with Joey. I'm not going to say his last name, but we got in at one of his tournaments, uh, a club tournament. And we absolutely whacked them on a buzz bait. I mean, we had a whack fest. It was it was fun. Had like 14 and a half, maybe 15 pounds, can't remember. But that is definitely fun fishing when you, when you can catch them on a buzz. When they're eating a buzz bait good, you're having fun. I bet you guys didn't know I was sponsored by Harley Davidson, did you? Yeah, they. They give me $10,000 a month, and uh, I picked up a Harley Road Glide bagger that I use in my other, face, or my other YouTube channel, which you guys need to check out, Prodigal Rider. I do a lot of vlogging on a, on a Harley and on a... I do adventure, adventure riding too. And by the way, me being sponsored by Harley, that's all bullshit. Oh! 
broke him off. I mean, that was a good one. Struck one here in this deep water. And then I get hooked up with a good one. I've got a bunch of... There must be concrete down there. That must be concrete down there. I've got a bunch of fray in my line right there. Wow. I tell you, unless that was a good one too. I mean, that, that's a shame I couldn't show you guys that fish. That was a good one. That's the kind you need, no question. But if I can't consistently get bit, it's hard as hell for me to, to do this. But we'll see how many of these spots I can find. But so far it hasn't been good, except for right here breaking that giant off. That was a big one. When BASS takes the northern swing and goes up into Ohio and all that, I, I tell you, it's so boring watching that stuff. I can't watch. I don't even watch it when they take the northern swing. It's just freaking boring as hell to me. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, just standing in one place, nothing around you. But anyway... It's a shame I couldn't have showed you that fish and he broke off, but we'll give it a little bit longer here. Baby, I tell you the only way with the jig. I can't get bit on it with the moving bait. It's time to eat. Alright. Let's go. Another little baby. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode of my third practice day on Lake Russell. But the only thing we did is narrowed some stuff, some stuff down. Uh, nothing really happened. Broke one big one off. I mean, just a bad, really a bad day. So I'll try to get it and see if I can make it as good as possible. But I don't know. You know, some days you just, no matter what you do, you can't do it right. So this was one of them. So I told you guys I'd show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is pretty much the ugly. So... Until next time, talk to you later. And again, thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, though, don't waste your time. If I if I produce a thumbnail that says deep, just don't even watch it. <laughs>